Peace, family. Assalamu alaikum. Peace to the gods, peace to the earths, and all of the righteous families of the planet. This big brother Fahim back again. Part two of the build on our lessons and what newborns, you know, uh, get when they begin studying these 5% of teachings. <clears throat> um, one of the first teachings now that we're going to go into is, of course, uh, our student enrollment. Just to kind of discuss that a little bit. Our student enrollment, actually, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad answered all of those questions. Um, one of the main questions in the student enrollment, of course, is the first degree. The first question basically is your identity, who you are. And the question is asked, who's the original man? To let you know who you are. And the answer is the original man is the Asiatic black man. He's the maker. He's the owner. He's the cream of the planet Earth. He's the father of civilization. And he's the God of the universe. In the nation of Islam, uh, in our lessons, it's maker, owner, cream of the planet Earth, and God of the universe. Father of civilization was actually originally... In the lessons, during the time when Master Fahd Muhammad and the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know, uh, did our lessons. But, um, so that's not, uh, when you hear uh, five percenters add that in, Father of Civilization, that's not nothing that is not, that, that's incorrect. It's, it's not now cipher, basically, as we say, you know. Um, <clears throat> our first degree, who's the original man? That's you. You're the maker, you're the owner, you're the cream of the planet Earth, you're the father of civilizations, all of the civilizations on the planet, and you're the god of the universe. It's talking about the same person in the lost, found Muslim lesson number one, lost, found Muslim lesson number two, the English lesson C1. It's talking about the same person. One, uh, in the student enrollment, tells you who you are. But then when you go to English C, in English lesson C, C1, Master Fahd Muhammad, you know, uh, this is basically from him. These are his words. You know, my name is W.F. Muhammad. I came to North America by myself. My uncle was brought over here by trade 379 years ago. My uncle cannot speak his own language. My uncle does not know. You know, these are all, okay, Master Fahd Muhammad, first of all, is the one speaking at this point. And he's talking to the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, or he's talking to us. So these lessons are basically for Master Fahd Muhammad's uncle. Who's Master Fahd Muhammad's uncle? Master Fahd Muhammad's uncle is the god of the universe, the original man. Let, 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 I just want to, we're going to deal with it real bad because it's just crazy how gods just take these lessons of ours and just make them say what they want to say. <laughs> it's just, y'all are no different from the Christians. I bomb Christians like that all the time. I'm like, you say stuff that the Bible don't even say. Where did Jesus say sop down a pork chop? Where did Jesus go put a Christmas tree up in his house? Where did you, you know, where, where, where is it at? Where does the Bible say God is not a man? He's some spirit. Where does the Quran say Allah is not a human being? He's something that the mind can't conceive. Where is it at? Where is it in the lessons that it says the black man is not no Muslim, we only gods? Where is it at? Please somebody show me. I, I, I want somebody to do a rebuttal for this. And please show me. Hey, I could be wrong. I, I'm, I don't have a whole bunch of pride. And one thing that the Most Humble Elijah Muhammad teaches us in the Nation of Islam that don't be so prideful. Hey, you might be wrong. Hey, I might be wrong. Show me where I'm wrong at. 
All of these lessons are teaching the black man that he is the original human being of this planet. But something happened. He was brought over to North America by a trader 379 years ago. When he was when that happened, this trader who was the white man, who was the devil, robbed him of his knowledge of himself. Taught him to eat the wrong foods. Taught him to speak the wrong language. Taught him to live unmathematically. His original language is mathematics. Mathematics. Supreme mathematics. That's his original language. So these, this is who the lessons are talking about. I want to make this absolutely clear because, I mean, it's, it, you know, people may be like, you know, bro, I mean, come on, man. You know, it's clear. You don't have to keep going through. No, I really do. I got to really rinse this out. Because it is amazing how people can say, no, I ain't no Muslim. No, I ain't no, no. His own self is a righteous Muslim. Well, no, no, I ain't me. I ain't no Muslim. It just amazes me that you can look at something and it's right there and say, no, I'm not that. I don't care. The father changed it. Where did he change it at? The most humble Elijah Muhammad has left countless audio tapes of himself teaching and speaking. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has, has given us countless tapes and lectures of her teaching, books, written, you know, doctrine, you know, written material. Where's something that we can look at that the Father said we're not Muslims or we're not... Show me something. Audio, written, you know, literature, something. Except for, you know, you listening to a tape. This is the only tape that I was directed to. Where they say, yeah, see, look what the father said on there. Look. And I'm listening now because, yeah, let me hear this. And I'm like, what is it saying? What did he say? <laughs> well, I'm not, I, I, what did he say? Did you hear it? What did he, you know? Stop it. Stop it. Just stop. 13th and 14th degrees in here basically tell the original man now, Master Fahd Muhammad's uncle, what is his own self? It says his own self is a righteous Muslim. It's clear. 13th and 14th questions. What is his own self? 14, his own self is a righteous Muslim. This is the same original man spoken of in the student enrollment. It's not a different person. Stop trying to split up our lessons. Stop it. It's the same person. So now we know that the original man... Who's the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet of Earth, the father of civilization, the God of the universe? We know that his own self now is a righteous Muslim. Okay, y'all want to still break our lessons apart and split stuff apart. But look, it gets even clearer. Look, our lessons say, look, it asks the question, the 15th uh, 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 question. Are there any Muslims other than righteous? I beg your pardon. 16th question, uh, uh, degree. I beg your pardon. I've never heard of one. 17. How many Muslims are there in North America? Approximately 3 million. How many original Muslims? This is the 19th degree now. See, for all of you that want to see, you want to split the lessons apart. But look, the lessons themselves, it, it, it stops you. It, 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 it disallows you from, from doing that. Look, you want to say, no, that's talking about somebody different in the, in the student enrollment. That's not, no. But look, the lessons pulls it right back together for you. Look, 
how many original Muslims are there in North America? A little over 17 million, the 20th question states. A same 17 million from the student enrollment. In the third degree, the third question of our student enrollment is, a is asked, what is the population of the original nation in the wilderness of North America, it, where's it at? I want to read, you know, because again, y'all get off on just quoting and I want to make sure I'm reading it properly. I don't want to mess nothing up. I don't want to be accused of lying and, you know, what is the population of the original nation in the wilderness of North America and all over the planet Earth? The answer is the population of the original nation in the wilderness of North America is 17 million. There goes that number. 17 million. With the 2 million Indians, if you add the 2 million uh, Native American Indian who we call as a, you know, Indian, you know, because, of course, from India, that part of the world, they migrated from, as the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, the Native Americans were over here 16,000 years before Columbus even began set, set sail. So when you add that 2 million uh, population, which was a diminished, of course, population, because as we know, the, 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 the white man, the devil, destroyed most of the tribes over here in America. You know, they have, they teach about the five civilized tribes. And stuff. So by the time the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad is giving these answers to these questions, these are the numbers during that time, the mid-1930s, 1933, 1934, 1935. The messenger said, the population of the original nation in the wilderness of North America is 17 million with the 2 million Indians, making it a total of 19 million. 4 billion, 400 million all over the planet Earth. So now we jump back to English lesson C, one. And that question is asked. Number 19, how many original Muslims are there in North America? A little over 17 million. See? So it pulls you right back to the student enrollment. It pulls you right back. You can't split these teachings apart. The, the student enrollment, the English lesson C, lost found Muslim lesson number one, lost found Muslim lesson number two, all of those are bound or binded together. You can't split them apart. Don't do that. The original Muslims, and, and look what they're called now, number 19. How many original Muslims are there in North America? So we know now from that, we can pretty much conclude that the members of the original nation are the original Muslims. Am I wrong? Before we go on, am I wrong? Come on, am I wrong? Am I being corny? People like to tell me I'm being corny, I'm being wrong. No, that's correct. We can conclude that the, the 17 million lost found are original Muslims. But look, it goes even deeper. It, it goes even deeper than that. For those who like to split them apart. It, 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 look, look what it says now. Look, 21. Did I hear you say that some of the 17 million do not know that they're Muslims? Whoa. Hold on. Now, the original man who is a member of the original nation, they are the original Muslims. But something happened, and they forgot who they were. They forgot their name, language, culture, God, religion, whatever. So the lesson says, did I hear you say that some of the 17 million do not know that they're Muslims? Not all of the 17 million don't, don't you know, there's 5% out 
actually, who know who the true and living God is and who teach that the true and living God is the supreme being black man of Asia. The original nation. The original Muslims. There's a, a percentage of that 17 million who teach that. 22. Yes, sir. So there are some who don't know that they're Muslims. Yes, sir. 23. I hardly can believe that unless they are dumb, deaf, and blind. Or blind, deaf, and dumb. I could hardly believe that. So you're telling me that some of the members in the original nation who are the original Muslims, they don't know that they're Muslims? Some of the 17 million don't know that they're Muslims? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, I can't believe I, I can hardly believe that unless they, they dumb, deaf, and blind. Look, 24. Well, they were made blind, deaf, and dumb by the devil when they were babies. So we see that the lessons is telling us that we are original Muslims and because we refuse to accept that uh, uh, identity or reality about ourselves, the lessons themselves call you dumb, deaf, and blind. Not Brother Fahim, not Day Son of Law, not me. The lessons say you are dumb, deaf, and blind if you don't know that you're a Muslim. Okay. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Look at these lessons. Look what they're called now. Lost, found, Muslim lesson number one. Look at that. I know in some God's lessons now, they've, took, they've taken Muslim out and they just say, yeah, lost found lesson number one, lost found lesson number two. No, it was originally called and the father didn't change that. People like to say he took skunk out of the planet Earth. He took that out of the student enrollment and he took all, he took all of these things out and did all of these things, but he somehow left Muslim all through it. Why didn't the father take that word out? It would be so confusing. You're telling us we're gods, we're Muslims. Oh, Father Allah, what are you doing? It's confusing. Are you confusing us? No, the father is not confusing you. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad is not confusing you. You're confusing yourself. Because you listen to these individuals twist the teachings around and, and break teachings apart and separate stuff and that's not how it goes. Let's look at Lost Found Muslim Lesson number two and see what it says in the 16th degree. Let's go to that now to find out who is this 5% that, that we're talking about. The question is asked, who is the 5% on this poor part of the planet Earth? Who? Now, this question right here is, is, is powerful. Because first of all, for Master Fahd Muhammad to even ask the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who is the 5%? That's a title of a group. So I don't think the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad back in 1934, if we walked up to him and said, hey, are you a 5%? Are you a member of the 5% nation? I don't think the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad would have said, hell no, nigga, I ain't no damn five percenter. What the hell is that? Hell no. What the man no? Hell no. No. The messenger would have said, yes, sir. I'm a member of the five percent. I'm a member of the five percent nation. And then he would have told you the five percent nation is the nation of Islam. So the original five percenters are members of the original nation. They are original Muslims. You can't get around that. There's no, there's, there's no way to get around that. Who's the 5% in this poor part of the planet Earth? They're the poor righteous teachers. Listen to the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad's answer. 
to this to this to this degree. They're the poor righteous teachers who don't believe in the teachings of the ten who don't believe in the teachings of the ten percent. They are all wise and know who the true and living God is, and who teach that the true and living God is the Son of Man, the Supreme Being, the black man of Asia, and teach freedom, justice, and equality to all human families of the planet Earth, otherwise known as Muslims and Muslim sons. Let's stop right there. Whew, man. I, I just don't know how you brothers do it, man. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. If I take 10 people or 20 people and sit them down in a room and give them my 120 lessons, to just quickly skim through. Read, read through that real quick. I don't think out of 10 people... I would say nine of them are going to say, you guys are Muslim gods. Because your lessons is, te is teaching you. Obviously, I see stuff dealing with Muhammad. I see the Holy Quran mentioned in there. I see, you know, you know Mecca. I see Arabia. I see, you know, uh, fasting and prayer. I see, it looks like you guys are Muslims. But, I see you're also gods because you're saying that, you know, but I've let people look through my lessons before and they all came to that conclusion that your lessons are teaching you to be Muslims, Muslims and gods at the same time. This is not no coinky dink. <laughs> It's not a coincidence that people look at our lessons and automatically know that they're Muslims. Automatically they know this. The lessons tell you who the five percenters are. They are civilized people. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad classified these two groups of civilized people. He said they're civilized people, they're Muslims, and their Muslim sons. Here we dealing with races. The two races of individual. One individual who's Muslim deals with on seven and a half ounce of brain, original brain cell. The other one has six ounce of grafted brain. Not original. He's a recessive individual. In the one to 14, it tells us that he has to study from 35 to 50 years. If he comes up by way of the Masonic Lodge, he has to at least study from 35 to 50 years before he can call himself a Muslim son and, and wear the, the greatest and only flag of the universe, the sun, moon, and stars. But in that degree, it tells you that the 5% are Muslims and Muslims' sons, Masons. So how do brothers say that the Muslim gods are not five percenters? How, how is that now? Break it down for me. Break, break it down. Don't break it down. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm a better listener than I am a teacher. I tell people that. And that's why we are always students first. You are a student first before you're a teacher. You got to be able to listen. Allah says in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, only those who listen, accept. Only those who listen, accept. Because when you listen to what I'm saying, you, you'll see that I'm telling you some good stuff. It's mathematics, it's scientific. You can check back through your doctrine and, and trace back what I'm saying. Some good stuff that I'm telling you. But if you don't listen, then of course you're not, I don't want to hear that. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. You're not going to accept. Like Allah says in the Quran, your heart and, and mind has been closed. It's been sealed. Allah sealed your heart. So the poor righteous teachers, the 5% who are the poor righteous teachers of this planet Earth, are members of the original nation, as we learn in the first degree, in the student enrollment in the first degree. 
in the English C lesson, we learned that those original, uh, those members from the original nation, we learned what their culture is, what their nature is. Their culture is Islam and their nature is Muslim. And then in the 1 to 40, or the Lost Found Muslim lesson number two, the 16th degree, who's the 5% on this poor part of the planet Earth? We learn now who the 5 percenters are. They are Muslims and Muslim sons. The Muslims are the members of the original nation. The individuals whose brain can produce neuromelanin. Their, pine their pineal gland is not calcified. You know, it's very active. It, it has the highest, highest absorption rate in this universe. Neutrinos, any type of microscopic particles, they enter into, in, into this black body, the black man, who's full of melanin, you know. So, short bill, we're going to come back and, I'm, brothers, I'm going to rinse this teaching out. When I'm done ringing this teaching out, it's going to be, you know, you know, like when somebody don't bathe for weeks or for a few days and they wash rag is, you know, stick. I'm going to ring it. I'm going to rinse this stuff out until it's like this. <laughs> I'm going to rinse it out completely because there's too much falsehoods going on. Too much. And the true and living gods, the true and living Muslim gods, man, we, we here now. We're back on the scene. To put an end to this, man. To put an end to this, this poison, this madness. It, it has to stop. So with that being said, family, subscribe. Muslim God Cypher Network. You know, the MGC Network. This is a teacher-student channel. You know, we deal with scholarship of the, the 120 lessons. All that other stuff, you guys deal with that. I'll leave it to you guys. I'm staying with the basics. Because there's too much foolishness going on, too much poison going on. And we got to stop it. So with that being said, part three coming up soon. I leave you as I came in the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. Peace to the gods.